Hello, vlog fam. Haven't seen you in a while. I'm back. I'm vlogging. I know I took kind of a long break. I just needed a break from vlogs. I don't know. I was... I just needed a break from vlogs. So that's what I did. But some exciting stuff is happening this weekend. So I thought good opportunity to start back up again. Number one, family is coming down for the eclipse that's happening on Monday. It is Saturday, by the way, right now. Um, but they're coming down tomorrow for the eclipse. And then, but today... John and I are about to go on a Home Depot and Lowe's adventure to get some supplies so we can make Thomas a new basking dock because we got him a new uh, aquarium. So let me show you. You'll have to not mind like if you see anything dirty in this house, but there it is, the new aquarium. Um, I don't know if you can tell how much bigger it is than his old one. He had a 55 gallon. This is 130. Um, and it's tall. I need like John here for scale, but you can kind of see my reflection in it. It comes up to like my shoulders. Um, so it's very tall. His basking dock obviously is going to be even like a little bit taller because it's going to go on top. But yeah, he got a big upgrade. So what happened was his old aquarium and we were kind of like bad for not taking care of this faster, but it had a little bit of a small leak and it was very slow and very small and so we were like well we do need to get him something better but let's just let's just deal with it for now by putting a towel down and like when the towel gets a little too wet we'll put a different towel because it was dripping so slow that like that was a fine solution even though it wasn't really a solution about two weeks ago maybe uh we came out and looked at his aquarium and the towel was saturated and there was water on the floor so we were like okay the leak is serious. We need to do something about this. So we went and got like sealant so we could seal up, try to seal up the leak from the outside, which it kind of worked, but also like once we got one spot sealed, like another leak would pop up. So the sealant on the inside of that aquarium was basically, the whole thing probably needed to be resealed. Um, and we couldn't stop the leak. So Thomas went into the bathtub, which is where he still is. He's been there for like way too long. He's very grumpy about it. Um, and then we worked on like emptying out the old tank and preparing to get the new one. New one got here and it was it's like 300 pounds. We could not move it ourselves. It was in the garage for about a week, five days, I don't know. And then yesterday we were like, no, two days ago we were like, let's try to move it. We had some of those like, it was like a harness that you wear and then like it attaches underneath and you can like lift with your body. Couldn't do it. I, we got it. We were able to kind of stand up once for just a second, but like I could not do it. It felt like I was doing the most intense squats. <laughs> it was, but I, could, I couldn't lift it. So we hired movers to come and move it from our garage to our house, <laughs> which is like kind of crazy, but it's just, we figured it would be better to have someone who's like professional coming in to move it than for us to just like try and struggle to do it ourselves or like wait for family to get here and have them struggle with us. So we got professionals. They moved it super fast. They did it yesterday while I was at work. John like told me it went super great so that's how we got it all in here we need to do like two major things we need to make his basking dock and we need to get the new filter set up because we needed to get a new filter for this large of an aquarium so that's going to be the goal for today because family's coming and they need to have access to that bathroom <laughs> and he is in the bathroom right now he's taking up the whole bathroom i think i just heard john get out of the shower so I'm gonna wrap this up for right now and then we're gonna get on the road and that's what's going on. I guess at some point I'll do like an update about what happened like the last three months. Obviously I have purple in my hair, so that happens. Um, but I'll talk about that a little later. Here we go. Hi, you ready? Mm -hmm. It's extremely packed as usual, except like worse. But we got the first thing. Just trying to pick out the piping that we're gonna use. It took us so long to find these because we were looking over here. Okay, we're here. Okay, can you tell the wind is bad? Um, anyway, we got the stuff, it's in the back. Success. And even though the parking lot is completely packed, it wasn't that busy inside, really. It's just a small parking lot. Yeah, and they're taking up like half of the parking lot for mulch sale or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go home now and then it's time to start assembling. We're home. Clearly I'm in the kitchen. 
Um, and I'm washing all of the PVC that we got. So we're making him a, uh, a dock out of egg crate or light diffuser and PVC pipes. Very similar to what he's had before, just hopefully look a little bit nicer. But anyway, so all of the PVC pipes and little joints and stuff had barcodes on them like that. So I've been washing it off with uh, nail polish remover, like pure acetone nail polish remover, and it's working pretty well. Um, you can see like, I don't know if you can actually see, but on this one, can you see? It still shows a little bit. I'm gonna go over it one more time after I've finished all of them, but I think it's probably good enough, <laughs> which might sound bad, but like, I really just don't wanna obviously see the barcodes. So if it's mostly cleared off, I think it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do that last one. And then John is going to do a lot of the measuring. I think he's gonna work on the measuring and cutting while I am setting up the filter. And then hopefully we can get this thing assembled and maybe get a turtle into the aquarium today. So let's have to see. Here's an update. Don't look at my hair, it's crazy. I'm on the floor, clearly. John's over there working, getting stuff ready. John wave. <laughs> um, and what I'm working on, let me show you. Getting, this is the new filter that we had to get for this thing. Um, it's huge, I don't know if you can tell. It's bigger than our old one by quite a lot. But anyway, I'm about to watch a YouTube video on how to set it up. Because I wanna make sure I set it up correctly. Also, okay, John, can I show you? Yeah. So that's for scale. That's John next to the aquarium. He's like, John's six feet tall. Uh, so you can tell it's a large aquarium. Anyway, so I'm gonna figure out how to get this set up. And then once I get it set, I think we're gonna get some water in here maybe. Marco, are you just watching? <laughs> Hello vlog. We are filling the aquarium now. This is gonna take a while. Okay, it's time for an update. Last thing you saw, we were filling up the aquarium. Well, now it's filled. That's probably as much as we'll put in it. So you can see it goes almost to the top, not quite. Um, so we still got a little bit of room, could put a little bit more in, but it's good. The filter is working. It's completely quiet. You can't hear it. Um, but yeah, and it looks really nice. John is working on the ramp and the basking area. So we got this part done. This is the base that everything else is gonna go on. We're using this to make the, uh, like the cage part. But you wanna tell them what happened, John? Nothing's happened. <laughs> Nothing's happened because we can't do anything. We, ran we didn't get enough of this. We just need a little bit more. We didn't get enough. We have enough to do everything except the top. We might be able to do a little bit. I just really wanted to finish it all today and we're not gonna be able to because we have to get more pieces. So I'm disappointed, I'm sad. It's gonna be worth it. I am just sad that we weren't able to finish it today because I really wanted to get it done because people are coming tomorrow and there's other things that I'm gonna wanna do tomorrow morning besides going to the hardware store to get another piece of that stuff. So John's working on marking out that. We're gonna do as much as we can, but we just won't be able to finish it. And while he's doing that, I'm starting dinner. I'm just making easy pasta for dinner <laughs> with some vegetables on the side because we just need something quick and easy. So yeah, and that's pretty much all that's going on. We've been working on turtle. It's been turtle aquarium stuff all day. Like since this morning when we got up after we had breakfast, we were planning the turtle dock. And that's just what we've been doing all day. So yeah. Do you want to say anything to the vlog, human all? This thing is going to be nice when it's done. Well, hopefully. Hopefully. The aquarium does look really nice. It's really big. Did you tell them that the pump was working? Yeah. Yep. Looks good. Sadly, Turtle is still in the bathtub. Hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully he can get in there tomorrow. We'll just have to see. Hello. It is now Sunday noon. Um, so it's been a morning. We got the dock set up. Let me show you. There you go. Very nice, very tall. You got him some rocks in there that should warm up with the heat lamp. Filters going, like we're doing good. Um, the top might be temporary. No, you can't see it, but it's a patchwork up there. Um, so yeah, he's about to get to go in. I'm waiting till John gets out of the shower. Also the heater is still heating this giant thing. I might have to get a second heater, but I think we'll be okay for now. 
Um, and then bad news, my UV lamp is not working. I, I thought the bulb had just died and apparently not. Apparently the, the whole thing's just not working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to try to troubleshoot a little bit more, but I might have to get a new like hood for it. I don't know. I'm just really frustrated. I'm really tired. It's been a long day. Like we were up and we stayed up until 1130 last night trying to work on this dock and there's still like cleaning we need to do to get ready for people to be here. And my foot is killing me. It's like, like whatever this part is on your foot, you know, like the big toe joint, the one that's uh, just hurting me really bad. I don't know. It's kind of red and swollen. And I think it's from being on my feet so much yesterday on a hard floor with not, with no shoes. So I don't know. I just don't want to be on my feet. I want to rest, but like there's stuff I need to do. I need to clear off this table. I need to put some stuff away. I would really like to vacuum, um, but I don't know what I'm going to do. And then obviously we got to clean out the bathroom that the cat or the turtle is in. So I'll try to keep you posted. I feel like it's going to be a busy day. Once people get here, I don't know how much I'll vlog. I might try to get a couple clips, but We'll just have to see what happens. Um, I will show you guys when Thomas gets to go in his aquarium, though. Vlog. This is Turtle. <laughs> grumpy. Turtle has been grumpy for a while because he's been living in the bathtub. Um, so we're gonna let him go in his dock and then uh, see if he wants to go in the water. Temperature's still a little cool, but I think it will be okay. And we're gonna get another heater. Can you help me move that stool so I can? Well, I think I can just set him in here. You can just set him in there. All right, look, it's your sunny spot. What do you think? What do you think, sir? I've been basked in a few days. Do you like your sunny spot? Let's give him space because he's probably like, this is a new environment. Oh, he's looking at it. Yeah, you have a nice warm sunny it's spot. A new home. Is it not some nice warm tile? Mm hmm. Vlog, this has been an experience. Yeah. It's been two or three weeks since we ordered the aquarium. The aquarium got shipped via freight. We had to assemble the stand. We had to hire movers to move the aquarium <laughs> from the garage into here because the aquarium weighs 320 pounds. And then we spent yesterday designing, gathering the supplies for, and then assembling his new environment here. We also filled up the aquarium yesterday. Mm -hmm. So this has been an exciting experience, but hopefully, hopefully Turtle is gonna like his new home. You just looking around, Turtle? We do need to get the UV light fixed because it died. Oh, I talked about that already. Yeah, his UV, his UV light is acting up. His heater is not it. strong enough. You wanna go for a slide? He's thinking about it. You have a long slide now. There he goes. Whoa! What is this? What is this? You made it all the way to the bottom, buddy. He's probably gonna hide out at the bottom now. That's okay. He can hide out at the bottom for a little while. I think it'll take him a few days to get comfortable with it. But I think he'll like it. Look at yeah, that's thing. your heater. But yeah, Turtle's been living in the bathtub for more than a week at this point, so I'm sure he's ready to have some space to stretch his yeah. legs. Aww. Yeah, hopefully he remembers how to swim. Do you remember, buddy? He'll be fine. But I do think he'll mostly hang out at the bottom for a while and kind of hide. We'll probably want to keep an eye on him just to make sure he like knows what to do. But I think he'll be okay. So much bigger. Yeah. So much more room. What you gonna do with all that room? What do you think, buddy? I think he probably, I mean, I don't know for sure what turtle memory is like. I'm gonna come up to the top. You gotta swim a little bit more. You gotta swim. There you go, there sir. You, there you go. <laughs> um, He's figuring it out. I feel like maybe he remembers the view. So he'll, he won't think he's like in a completely new environment. Although I don't know how good turtle eyesight is, so. But yeah, we wanna keep an eye on him just to make sure that he, I wanna make sure like, I, I wanna see him climb out to know he can do the ramp and then like how he just acted like he almost couldn't get to the top. He'll have to like learn what the water depth is and get used to it. 
So we'll just have to watch him and just make sure he's doing okay. But he'll figure it out. He just will take some time to get used to it. It's really not that much deeper than what we had before. Yeah, it's Probably just only like wider. only five or six inches deeper. It's a little bit deeper, but it's mostly just a lot wider and a little bit longer. Wasn't anyway, crazy one. we need to stop admiring turtle now so we can finish getting stuff ready. All right, vlog. We still got people on the way and the bathroom still is turtle mode, so we got to fix it. All right, vlog. Goodbye for now. We'll give an update on turtle maybe when he figures out how to. There he goes. Look, he's doing it now. He figures out how to use his dog. we want him to do. See, Good boy, turtle. Mode. Okay, so... We're good. Turtle is set up. The bathroom that he was in is completely back to normal, useful bathroom. House is about as clean as it's going to be for people to visit. Whoa, I'm sitting on my makeup bag. Um, and we were able to get into Sarah's ESPN Plus account so we can watch the Women's Basketball Championship. So we're good. Everything's good. We're just waiting for people to get here. They should be here soon. Um, I don't remember if I said it's mom, dad, Aunt Penny, and Olivia. So... They should be here soon, and then the game's at two, so we'll probably hang out, watch that, just chill, and then we're ordering pizza. So, yeah, I'm out of breath. I'm really hot. My feet hurt, but I'm glad that turtle is in his aquarium. Um, oh, and now what I'm going to do is go order a new heater and LED lamp. This is what's going on right now. Working on the light. Aunt Penny thinks maybe we can fix it. <laughs> And everybody else over there watching basketball. And John brought out this thing, so. Multimeter. The multimeter. So we'll see. Because It'd be great if we meter. could fix this because then, you know what? We wouldn't have to buy anything. Well, the starter is only $10. Like, a starter is a $10. Oh, well, then part. that's even better. So if it is the starter, this then that would be an easy. It might be this thing. You can check voltage, resistance. It is now Wednesday, so obviously a few days have passed. Also, I know this is not the best thing. All my forehead's getting cut off. That's just what we're doing. I'm just coming in here to sort of like sum up what happened because I did not do a great job of vlogging. Um, so it's just going to be like we're sitting together and I'm chatting with you. That's what's going on. So anyway, we had a really fun time during the eclipse. Uh, it was so cool to see. I actually, um, I've never seen a total eclipse before. Uh, in 2017, uh, we saw a partial from Fayetteville but total was so cool it was just really really neat to see that happen it was just such a cool experience and it was really fun to see like ever like you could hear people in the neighborhood like watching it and like getting excited and it was just like a moment when everybody was excited about something do you know what I mean it didn't matter like like it just was like everybody sort of stopped for a minute to get excited about this event and it was like it just was like a little bit of humanity I guess I don't know um, but yes, yeah, so it was really fun. We had a really good day. Everybody was here. Um, it was a long day. We were all outside for a lot, a lot of the day. So we were kind of getting like hot, tired. You know how it is when you're outside a lot. 
And then we went out for dinner that night. Um, really good, got burgers. And then the next day it was more of just like hanging out with mom and Aunt Penny. And we did some flea marketing. I did not take a single video that day. I did finish the baby quilt. I'll try to put in a picture or something. Um, it's been sent back home because the baby is here. The baby got here on April 1st. Um, and I finished the quilt. I think it turned out really nice. I hope they get a lot of use out of it. Uh, and it kind of like re-inspired me and now I'm feeling like ready to start quilting again. So maybe I will finally get back on top of that really big paper piecing project that I was doing. <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, and today was back to work. Work was fine, but I was super tired when I got home and I just sort of chilled and then, um, actually did a very short workout, just like an upper body arm workout, but I, I just felt like I needed to do something. Um, but now I'm here, I'm finishing the vlog for y'all and that's really all I know. I, it, it's super cold out tonight. It got like down to the 50s today, which is extremely weird, but I'm not going to go to the barn. It's also been raining like for the last two or three days. Luckily on the eclipse day, it was totally clear, really nice weather, but then starting on Tuesday, it was awful. So anyway, that's all I know. Um, I think this is going to be the end of this vlog. I'm not sure what my like schedule is going to be for vlogs. I don't know if I'm going to try to have a schedule. I might just vlog when I feel like it and um yeah so anyway I will vlog still I just don't know when the next one will be it might not be until another weekend or if we're doing something fun but anyway that is pretty much it for now so thank you for watching thank you if you've been here this whole time waiting for me to post for months and you didn't like unsubscribe thank you for that and I will just see you on the next one